Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, let's talk about the newest, greatest bike from Giant, and it's gonna be the 2022 Giant TCR Advanced Pro Disc 2. Okay, it's a bit of a mouthful of bike name, but I have to say I'm definitely excited because the Giant has finally started rolling out their 2022 lineup for the EU market, for the European market, and also for the USA market. So as you know, I'm a huge fan of Giant bikes because they just make an absolutely great value for money. And you will see specifically this uh, Giant TCR Advanced Pro 2, why I consider an exceptional value for money in today's uh, bike market. But before we start, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that little like button because it's going to help in growing the channel. And of course, if you are already a subscriber, then definitely thank you. So let's first answer the question about who is this bike for? So you see Giant TCR platform is an absolute legend when it comes to road bikes. Giant TCR is all about lightweight climbing stiff machine. This is what this bike is designed for. So if you are looking for a lightweight climbing bike, then definitely you have to have a look at Giant TCR platform. The retail price of this bike is currently 3000 British pounds. So I'm expecting similarly about 3000 euros in the Europe or across the pond in USA. Definitely it's going to be about 3000, 3200 US dollars. The prices are might be still, you know, a bit uh, determined, but 3000 British pounds, uh, definitely. So now uh, let's dive in and let's see what do you really get for your hard earned money. I'll just mention here that uh, considering the paint scheme on this bike, unfortunately, there is only one paint scheme on offer for this bike. But this is, of course, <clears throat> one of the reasons why Giant can keep such an excellent prices. And this is a pretty kind of classical metallic, you know, uh, black uh, silver combination looks decent. I mean, nothing special. I always wish that uh, Giant could have offered at least another paint scheme on this bike, but it is uh, what it is with this uh, paint scheme. But again, as I say, you gotta keep in mind that the retail price is 3000 British pounds as it is uh, now. So let's start with the frame and the fork on this uh, bike. So you see the frame is uh, <clears throat> advanced grade carbon fiber frame from Giant and also the fork is the advanced grade carbon fiber fork. So full carbon fiber fork with the famous uh, Giant overdrive two steer. Uh, both the frame and the fork are of course ready for the internal cable routing. 12 mm through axles both uh, front and the back, flat mount disc brakes and of course uh, there is going to be the press uh, fit bottom bracket. In this case we're going to be speaking about the Shimano press fit uh, bottom bracket. I forgot to mention here that the Giant always has nice names for their colors. So this color officially is called you know chrome or gloss sterinite. As I said metallic black with a hint of silver. So speaking about the frame and the fork, as I said, advanced grade composite from Giant and keep in mind that the both uh, frame and the fork from Giant come with a lifetime warranty. So absolutely superb stuff and Giant is definitely the leader when it comes to making carbon fiber frames and the forks. So this is superb stuff. I absolutely have no complaints here. Now let's talk about some of the <clears throat> smaller parts on the bike like handlebar and the stem. So this is a good uh, decision from Giant to go with separate pieces for the handlebar and the stem. So the handlebar is the Giant Contact SL and also the stem you're going to get is going to be Giant Contact SL. <clears throat> Both pieces are aluminum pieces and I'm perfectly fine with that. And the key thing here is that since they are totally separate pieces, you can easily replace them in the future if you want to upgrade or if you want to finally tune your position on the bike, it's very easy to do it. When it comes to the saddle and the seat post, the saddle is the Giant's own Fleet SL saddle. Uh, I'm expecting it to be a decent saddle, but uh, since saddles are a personal preference, it's easy to replace if you don't like this uh, saddle. When it comes to the seat post, Giant didn't cut corners here. This is the Giant Composite Carbon Fiber Seat Post, Giant Variant Carbon Fiber Seat Post. Absolutely essential, a 
carbon fiber seat post in my opinion because it's going to soak up so much of the road bumps and definitely your ride is going to be much much smoother now let's talk about the group set on this bike so the full group set on this bike so shifters front mech and the rear mech everything is a shimano 105 mechanical group set Shimano 105 Mechanical is an absolute workhorse from Shimano, works perfectly fine, I have no complaints about it, and it's definitely gonna, you know, work uh, perfectly. It is a mechanical group set, but again, when it comes to certain value for money, it's really hard to beat Shimano 105 Mechanical group set. So everything's superb here, definitely no complaints from me. When it comes to the braking system on the bike, you will get uh, Shimano's 105 hydraulic disc brakes with uh, 160 mm braking rotors front and 140 mm braking rotors at the back. So these braking rotors are pretty simple, basic Shimano RT 64 series, 66 series, and. Uh, the thing that only bothers me here is, is, is the rear rotor is only 140 millimeters. I don't know why Giant did it, and this would be the first thing I would change in the future on this bike. Once when you destroy this braking rotor, I would switch to the <clears throat> 160mm braking rotors, for example Shimano's 105 level braking rotors or Shimano's Ultegra level braking rotors, just because of better heat dissipation and better stopping power. Now let's talk about the cassette chain and the crankset. So the cassette on the bike is the Shimano Zultegra level cassette. So 11 speed cassette, 1130. And this cassette is paired with the crankset, which is a Shimano 105 crankset, 3652. So immediately you see with 3652 uh, crankset and 1130 cassette, you definitely won't have any problems in attacking steep mountains and I'll just point out here since they've included the Shimano Ultegra level cassette so it's a bit upgrade from Shimano 105 group set definitely in the future I would stick to this Shimano Ultegra cassette but what I would do is I would replace this 1130 with for example 1132, 1134 just because it's gonna give you a bit more range as it is now no problems in attacking steep hills uh, they've chosen the chain uh, to be KMCX 11SL, perfectly fine, superb chain, no problems here. If it really bothers you in the future when you are replacing the chain, for example after two or three thousand kilometers, you might buy yourself a Shimano Zultegra level chain, again superb, but no complaints here from me. As I said, the bottom bracket on this uh, carbon fiber frame is a press fit Shimano bottom bracket. I'm absolutely expecting no creaking noises here because Giant definitely knows how to make quality carbon fiber frames. Now let's talk about the wheel set because wheel set is a definite secret sauce and highlight of this bike. So you see, for a retail price of about uh, 3,000 British pounds or you know 3,000 euros, 3,000 US dollars, you are getting a carbon fiber wheel set from Giant. So this is the Giant SLR to a 42 carbon fiber wheel set. So if we look a bit of specifications of this wheel set, if you would need to buy this wheel set on the open market, the price is between 380 British pounds, that's a front wheel, and all the way up to 450 British pounds for the rear wheel. It's an absolutely superb piece of engineering from Giant, this uh, Giant SLR2 carbon fiber wheel set. So it is uh, tubeless ready. It is a giant's hookless technology, so just you know, keep a bit in mind that certain tires are gonna be approved by Giant to be used with this hookless technology. So you can have a look at the Giant's website. Uh, technically speaking, you can run any tire on this uh, hookless uh, rims as as soon as the tire is hookless compatible, but just be aware of the certain pressure limitations. Uh, as I said, carbon fiber wheel set, a rim height of 42 millimeters, inner rim width of 19.4 millimeters, and this wheel set comes with a giant own hubs. So the front hub is a classical giant alloy hub, and the rear hub again a giant alloy with uh, 
three pole system and 32 uh, 30 tooth engagement of course uh, both wheels are compatible for the center lock disc brakes and come with the sealed cartridge bearings and also 12 millimeter true axles both front and the back 24 spokes on these wheels sapping spokes and the total weight of this carbon fiber wheel set is only 1545 grams it's absolutely superb that they've managed to include this carbon fiber wheel set on a 3000 pounds uh, bike 3000 euros 3000 us dollars these wheels are wrapped in a giant gavia course one tires as i said tubeless tire 25 millimeter tire although they are saying when it's you know pumped to the correct pressure it will measure 28 millimeters but the good thing is that this frame and fork can take up uh, up to 32 millimeter tires so for example once when you destroy these tires if you are upgrading a tire buying a new tire i would immediately buy a 28 millimeter tire just so you have more air volume in the tire and much more uh, smoother ride also they are mentioning here that of course standard with the bike you're gonna get uh, the giant's own ride sense uh, bluetooth sensor so if you are pairing any kind of computer on the bike you can easily pair it with this uh, bu uh, bluetooth sensor and also the out of the gate from factory there's going to be a tubeless setup including the sealant uh, for the tires total weight of this bike in size medium large i would expect it to be around eight kilograms which is very competitive in uh, my book and if you are really you know a weight weenie you can definitely drop the weight of this bike uh, for about seven and a half kilograms but as it is i would expect it to be around eight kilograms so now in a summary do i have any special complaints about this bike again considering the retail price of 3000 british pounds approximately 3000 euros or i would call it approximately 3200 us dollars i will only mention one thing that's my complaint about this bike and this is this rear braking rotor which is only 140 millimeters i have no clue why giant did it but it's a simple thing to fix once in the future when you need to replace the braking rotor buy yourself a shimano ultegra braking rotor 160 millimeters both front and the back upgrade it and this bike is gonna be superb definitely highlight of this bike is the carbon fiber wheel set from giant giants slr242 carbon fiber wheel set which you are getting on this bike for the total package of the bike you know the retail price of 3000 british pounds or approximately you know 3000 us dollars absolutely superb job uh, from giant i will be featuring of course more of these 2022 giant bikes because i really think that they have done an excellent job in again offering an excellent value for money and this is what giant is famous for so i think this is going to be it for today i hope you like what i'm doing and if you do please do subscribe and hit that little like button and as always i will see you soon in the next episode cheers